Hey guys, uh, Rainier here, and I'm gonna do an updated tour of the Constellation. Um, they finally released their variants. Uh, the four variants are the Andromeda, which is the variant I have, which is the standard variant, but it's around middle tier. Um, the other variants are the Taurus, which is a cargo kind of, you know, hauler variant. It has one less turret. It's less combat oriented and more for, uh, hauling cargo. Um, the second variant that they have is the Phoenix. Uh, the Phoenix is a luxury, uh, constellation. Like, it's all painted white, all the windows are tinted black, and it has a bunch of luxury stuff inside. It's probably the second most combat-oriented variant of the ship. Um, it's just a little bit under this. And then there's the Aquila, which is, they have the commercial, I will link the commercial down below. Uh, the commercial shows the Aquila, and it's a big, uh, nod to 2001 A Space Odyssey, and that's the exploration variant. Well, let's start off with the first kind of major changes. First off, um, rather than having the Merlin fighter in the cargo bay, the Merlin fighter is now back here. Um, you can see you access through the hatch in the back. I will show you all the interior. Um, let's see. There's... get around. Basically, you can tell it's really secured in this hard case. I imagine uh, this either splits open. Is there is there a seam? Let me see if there's a seam. Um, uh, not really. I don't imagine how this detaches. I don't know. Uh, it seems pretty secured in there, but you get in through the back of the ship and drop inside, and then the fighter will drop off, and you will provide fighter escort for the Constellation. Um, these are the huge engines. I mean, these engines, like, I mean, look at the size of the Hornet back there. One of these engines is almost as big, if not as big as a Hornet. Like, they're... They, they're probably going to make you go pretty damn fast. Alright, let's cover the inside. Now, I will note that the interior stuff is still a bit bugged. You can't... Like, when I tried to get in the turret earlier, I, I fell through the floor and was stuck down inside there and couldn't get out. But, let's start off with the front. Here is the front cockpit view. Well, let me get the, the main seat. Come on. I, I don't... Oh, I don't want to fall back there. Uh, it's not one to co cooperate right now. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is Are you going to cooperate? No, that's that seat. Fuck. But basically, I mean, this is the main cockpit seat. Uh, it'll be sitting down. Let's kind of give you... It's, uh, the, the UI is still very buggy right now. Uh, if they update where you can get into the turrets, get into the seats more properly, I will. I can probably get into this seat. Yeah, I can get into this seat. These are the kind of the co-pilot seats. Uh, in the Constellation commercial, one of them was managing, I guess, navigation. Uh, because she was talking about how the jump point being mapped. And then the other seat on the right was apparently sensors. Uh, because he was talking about, do we have any contacts? So I imagine those might actually be the roles. Or that might have been just for some kind of cinematic purposes. Um, down here are the two turrets, like... I don't want to hit use because that's how I got stuck. This seat right there goes up to the top there, and there's a top Rhino turret, which looks pretty cool. You can see my other Constellation tour, uh, which I will link again below. That will kind of show um, the turrets a little bit. They don't really move yet, but it will show you kind of what they look like. Uh, down there is the second turret. You basically hit these elevator buttons to go up and inside. Um, here is where the differences to the interior start becoming major. Um, here is just some storage stuff. Before, this was all just a dining area. There wasn't much to it. The, before they had this table, let's see if this pops down. Oh. Uh, oh no. See what I meant about kind of clunkiness? I just exited the ship rather than bringing down the table. Let's go back inside. Yeah, this is still early, early, like, just not even, I mean, it's barely alpha. Uh, basically, this will bring down, and this is a, oh, wait, this might, well, let's do it. There we go. And this is a dinner table set where you can sit down and eat. I'm not going to sit down because I'm afraid that will send me flying through the hangar and send me into oblivion. Here is the potty, the bathroom. There you go, it's your space toilet. It's a lot less luxurious than it used to be, but the layout before didn't make much sense. Like, before there was just pretty much this dining area here and some storage. 
over here, let's open this up, is the shower. So you get to keep, uh, keep yourself clean. I mean, are those, I guess those are fans to dry you off. Here is your beds. Um, I before this is much better place, but before because these used to be back in the cargo area, and imagine like this must be like it's better that this front is a dedicated living quarter, living quarters rather than in the back being in the middle of the storage where everything's kind of divided up. You can see the door is a lot more heavy duty than it used to be. Let's open it up, and here is the cargo bay. Um, Basically, I ima imagine that's how you load cargo. I'll show you the feature of that a little bit later. Uh, here is the big docking ports. They still don't open, I don't think. Can't really hit anything. Uh, before, this all used to be a flat floor. There wasn't a big dip in here. Um, before, like down there is where the Merlin was stored. Whoa, whoa. God damn it, and I'm pretty sure you can't use the ladders to get back up. Alright, I might as well show this feature off now. Uh, let me hit use, and the cargo bay opens up. This can be used, I guess, as another way to get in your ship if the ladders work. And I imagine you roll your cargo on through here, and then you bring it up. Let me just bring it back up and go back in the normal way, because you can't really get back up. Let me end. There we go. And back in. Like I said, it's still very clunky. UI is very basic. Um, let me make a right over here. Just, yeah, there's the storage. And basically, back before, these used to be where those sleeping pods were stored, and there was still these kind of storage containers. And back here was the bathroom. And now that has changed, and that is now... Uh, the entrance to the Merlin, uh, basically you can't open it up or get inside right now, but I imagine this hatch opens up, you climb down into the cockpit, and then it releases. Uh, it's kind of hard to get a view of that. These, I don't know what these are, I imagine these are power generators, power cells, I don't know. Uh, it's not a lot of UI. Here, can I access this panel? This just says caution multiple exit supports and I don't know these could be power generators these could be the power to the engines I we don't really know that would kind of make sense was then you'd be back here this could be considered kind of engineering and you'll be able to access power fluctuate like fluctuate the power uh, be able to modify the engines and uh, basically that is the big overhaul of the constellation I don't think I'll be getting out of any other variants um, although the Phoenix looks very nice, basically, it replaces all of this with a really nice luxury area. There's, like, a big bed back there. There's a TV, a living quarters. Up here is a window where you could look up into the sky. Look, or, into not the sky, look into space. It looks really nice, but it's $125 extra. And the thing is, I plan to play as more of a bounty hunter. Uh, and I think I'm going to stick with this because this seems to be the combat variant. And there you guys go is an updated uh, Constellation Andromeda variant. I will link my previous uh, video before uh, that I did before that will show a little bit more how the turrets work and can you can kind of compare and see where the change is. But it is a very, very big improvement. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.